All right, you guys, it's been a hot minute since I've done a Q&A. If you've been on my channel or you've been a subscriber for a while, I just love sit down, chatty, chit chat type of videos. They make me feel super connected with you guys and these are what I love watching from other people. So welcome back. I thought today for Vlogmas we would just do kind of a chill sit down video. Um, I'm in the process of editing another full actual like follow me around vlog for Vlogmas. So if you're new here, be sure that you do subscribe and you hit the notification bell because I am busting out as many videos for you guys for December as I can. So for today, I actually went on Instagram last night and asked you guys to type in something in the little question box on IG story, something that you assume about me. And then I'm gonna let you know today, girl, you know in this video, if it's true or false. I'll be really like transparent with everything. A lot of you were asking about a boyfriend, how much money I make, plastic surgery, all the goods. So anything you've been wanting to know, which you think I may have been like avoiding in previous videos, we're just gonna get right into it today. So I appreciate you guys being here. Really quick, before we hop into that, I do want to announce this is the video where I'm announcing my holiday giveaway. I talked to you guys in my last chit chat video and let you know that this year I wanted to do something really different instead of buying you guys a physical prize and shipping it out. I wanted to do something special for my subscribers that I wish, or I would have been so grateful if someone did something like this for me, or I had this opportunity years back when I wasn't making, you know, too much money and I could have used extra like funds to get stuff for Christian for Christmas. So this is the video where you need to go ahead and enter for my holiday giveaway. I'm gonna be giving away five Visa cards to you guys. All you have to do to enter, of course I ask that you be a subscriber and a supporter of mine. So make sure down below that you are subscribed here to my channel. Myself and my assistant are gonna be going through every comment, even though it's gonna be so many. We are gonna go check and make sure that you're subscribed and that you've hit the notification bell um, and you're part of the notification squad here on my channel because of course I just want it to go to a supporter of mine. But I figured that doing Visa cards would be awesome for you guys, again, to just kind of bless you a little bit in that way for the holidays if you want to use those on food, clothing, holiday gifts, whatever your family may need at this point. Um, I'm going to choose five of you guys. So subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, then you must comment below on this video that you've done that and that you're part of the notification gang and why this would mean something to you. I'm gonna run this giveaway for seven days. There's also gonna be an Instagram post by the time you guys see this video on YouTube right now, you have to come to my Instagram. If you don't have it, it's okay, I'll still enter you on YouTube, but um, on my Instagram, you're gonna have to comment on that picture as well and just be following my Instagram and I will get you guys the Visa cards in the mail or by email a full, almost like a full week before for Christmas so you can use the, that money if you want on Christmas gifts for your family. Um, again, I just didn't want to get like a camera or an iPad or something. I figured doing the Visa cards would be good because you can use it for whatever you need. I don't want to make this too long and corny, but I'm just giving that back to you guys. It's not sponsored or anything. I'm buying the Visa cards for you just to say thank you for supporting me all year and to just you know, I feel truly feel that when you get at a certain good spot in life, it's your duty to give back and kind of help others. And I wish I could do even more and give like 20 Visa cards to you guys. You know, your girl's not a millionaire or anything crazy, but I am just so blessed to even be at a point to do that for you. So I hope you guys will enter. Happy holidays. And don't forget to come and check my Instagram picture for another entry. All right, so let's hop on into this. If you don't follow my IG, it's JJ Weezy. Come at your girl. Let me go ahead um, yesterday and pull this up. I saw a lot of my friends... Um, doing this Kiki Nikki B basically you go on IG story and you ask people to type in something they assume about you So you guys asked mm-hmm. Yep, y'all went in. Okay. We're just gonna get right into it So a lot of you are asking or something that you assume is that I've had a boob job So if you followed my channel for a really long time, I actually made videos about this about two and a half years ago I was super open with you guys and said I have always wanted a boob job and that's still very true But a lot of things have changed I've always wanted one after I had Christian, just because my chest started to sag, like real talk. Um, whenever you have bigger boobs or they weigh more, of course they're gonna sag down a little bit more, especially after you have kids. So I really wanted the surgery for a lift, and then while I'm gonna go under the knife and like get a lift anyways, I was like, oh yeah, let me just do like a small implant or something round to just make them, you know, sit up and be like really perky. And I wanted that for such a long time. I have videos back on my channel where I actually took you guys to the consultations with me, but, a lot of you are asking recently why I'm avoiding talking about it. I get comments in a lot of my recent videos actually asking, hey, are you still getting that surgery? Are you still getting a boob job? And I am here to tell you, dun dun dun, 
No, not as of right now. And that's just because I've had a lot of friends on social media and two really, really personal close family friends who've actually got their implants taken out due to breast implant illness. And it's crazy, it's like a whole thing that's like sweeping social media right now to where a lot of people have had brain fog, back problems, digestive issues, anxiety, depression, and they truly believe that that's linked to their implants. And it's actually like a trend right now of people actually getting them taken out. A few years ago, the trend was everyone getting them put in, but now people are realizing how it's affecting their health. And the more I think about it and the more I read about it, I need to be the healthiest version of me for my son. I would feel horrible if I did something just to physically look better and you know, have that lift, have a little more confidence, but then something happened to me where I got really sick um, and I couldn't be there for my son or I, like I, I got in the hospital or like, I don't know how they would affect me. I know they affect everyone's body differently. I have a lot of friends who have implants and they're living their best life. They're looking great and they're fine. But I also know a lot of people at this point where it has harm them physically. Um, and that's crazy to read about breast implant illness. A few years ago, that was never around. But now, thanks to social media, I've been reading so many people's stories. Um, it, you guys should actually look up Carissa Pukas here on YouTube. She's incredible. She's such an honest, like transparent person. She documented her journey on YouTube and her video like blew up. And she has statistical research to back it up in her video. So check that out. Um, so yeah, as of now, guys, my opinion has completely, completely switched. Maybe it will switch back around again in the future, but as of right now, I have no plans for that surgery. Someone said, I assume that you dislike short hair. I do. I don't think I look good with short hair at all. I cut it all off a few years ago, back when I was singing at my church, like a long time ago. And I have pictures of me singing on stage with like hair cut off to here and it looked horrible. I think for me personally, I definitely love long hair, even though it's a lot more maintenance and it's a lot more work. I just think for me, like it looks better. But there's some incredible women who I follow and who I know who can rock the short hair vibes with like a cute, like short bob with like big hoops. I think that's gorgeous. But for my body type, I don't know, I feel like short hair looks so weird for me. Um, someone said, I assume you're a hardworking single mama. I am, thank you. Um, someone said, I assume you only had one boyfriend throughout high school. Very true. Um, I never, oh, another question that was like crazy, watch me like tangent off into that. Yes, I only had one boyfriend in high school and another question said, um, you guys got real deep. Someone said, I assume you lost your virginity super early. Not true at all, I waited till I was uh, 20 actually, yeah. But in high school, you know, you wanna focus on sports, friends, events. You don't need to rush that at all. Sex is such a big commitment emotionally, physically. You know, if you're a real emotional person and you're all up in your feels and you you know get attached to that person, it really can take take you over mentally. And I think that's something you should totally wait on. I feel really bad actually for kids growing up in this day and age where everything is so sexualized and so forced on you to where you feel the need to kind of hurry up that part of your life and like, all my friends are doing it. Let me just get it over with. And no, like I feel bad for you guys. I would say wait as long as you can. You're never gonna get your middle school or your high school days back. So definitely enjoy that time with friends and going to like school trips and stuff. Trust me, all that can wait later. Like you can have sex for the rest of your life. Like you don't need to be doing that when you're 15, 16, even 17 in my opinion. Like, come on guys. I wanna be like the mom figure like, just wait baby girl. Another girl said, I assume you get four hours of sleep a day. Close, I probably get like six, it totally depends. Lately I've been so wrapped up in my work with doing Vlogmas and the vlogs, I launched my podcast. I do a lot of graphic design on the back end that you guys don't even see, which takes hours. Um, also just like parenting with Christian, taking him to basketball. He also has additional academic tutoring on top of school. And we wanna put him in even another sport when basketball ends right now, I'm probably gonna put him in soccer. So I've been very like on the go lately. I try to get to bed at like 11, but I usually fall asleep at like 12 or 12.30 and then I have to get right up for school with him right at seven. So lately, yeah, I, that's something I need to be better about resting and doing more self care so that when I do wake up, I have the most energy and I can be the best mom and businesswoman for the day. Cause you know, your girl gets real bitchy when I don't get a lot of sleep or I don't have a lot of energy. So it benefits me on all areas to make sure that I go to bed on time. I just need to be like more diligent on it. Someone said, I assume you make more than 500,000 a year. No, I wish I did. This year I had my best financial year that I've ever had, which I'm super grateful for, which is this weird? I don't know, I guess I can tell you guys. I made right over 200 grand this year, which to me is like, I share in not a cocky way again, or like in a braggy way, but in 
a way as to like inspire you guys, whatever you want to do, whether it's on social media or following your passion and wanting to make that into your full-time job. I'm here to tell you it's so possible. And you know this from all my videos, I'm always like corny like this and I preach about this, but I just am so in love with what I do and making my own schedule. I've been able to employ my mom and also have an additional assistant and employ Christian's nanny. And it's literally just the best feeling. And I say that only again, to motivate you guys to keep doing what you love, make a business plan, hire a coach. I think this next year, I'm going to go ahead and join a mastermind. This past year, I had two business coaches, uh, two for each three month period, two separate three month periods, excuse me, which I don't think you guys even know that I'm so much more into like business than you would think. There's a whole business, you know, having an LLC and having financial bank accounts and all this stuff that really goes behind being a YouTuber. I think some people still just think that I make videos. Not true. I have my eBooks, which I wrote completely by myself. No co-writer. I designed all the graphic design and cover art. I have my social media courses. As you guys know, I have a lot more like businessy things I think going on behind YouTube that you don't always see all of. Um, but I am so into the entrepreneur field and just following amazing millionaire entrepreneurs who inspire me to just keep going. And I have so many cool things for the next year that I want to launch for you guys. You know, I've really been wanting to launch planners. Um, I know a lot of YouTubers do merch that's like t-shirts or phone cases, which is cool, like no shade at all. But I've always wanted to come out with something different that fit my brand. And with my Boss Babe series talking about time management and organization, I think having a planner for you guys would be so beneficial. Um, my mom and I actually have another meeting at the end of December to go to a factory and like look at binding and look at paper. The reason it hasn't fully come out yet is we haven't finalized the design. This is like a full year in the making. Like this shit takes a long time behind the scenes. And to be honest with you guys, I'm probably going to need to put about $30,000 down because the minimum amount of units I need to order to make the order and get them printed is about a thousand units. Um, and it's really pricey to find them the way that I want to have all of the graphic design and everything. Like I want to have inspirational quotes on every page, a daily to do list, um, like a meal planner in there. I want it to be like an awesome binder or excuse me, an awesome planner. That's super motivational. It's not just like basic with all the days. I'm really trying to put my own like Jordan boss babe twist on it, if that makes sense. And a lot of you have told me you're interested in getting one, which is super cool. Um, I just have to put up the money to put down on that, then figure out a good selling point for you guys, which isn't too pricey because you know I always preach everything on a budget I'll get it to you at the lowest cost possible but obviously we have to make some profit and then like we're just trying to figure out everything thank God for my mom because she's my first VA like my first assistant right now I have someone who helps me like a few hours a week with additional like emails and stuff but my mom is really she deserves like she deserves a raise okay she helps me with so much I can trust her with financial stuff she set up all these planner meetings like she's incredible so that's definitely in the works um what the hell was even the question? I, your girl just went off on, what was even the question? How did I get to talking about planners? Oh, you make more than 500K a year. No, but I am manifesting next year to make a million dollars, to have an epic 2019 and make a million dollars in revenue. Again, I know that may sound crazy, but I am so pro like people being transparent and talking about their finances and sharing with others the way that they've been able to make a living because I learn from people all the time on social media. I follow so many incredible women who are upfront about their income as well and kind of how they're utilizing social media to monetize and launch courses. I find it all like so fascinating. So anything I can share with you guys regarding business, I would love to. Someone said, I assume that Christian is the reason you get back up every time you fall. I don't know why that makes me want to cry. Yes, very, very true. Really, before Christian, I always knew that I wanted to be like a successful individual, but after you have a kid, there's such a sense of responsibility and also just so much love. Like you don't realize how much love your heart can possibly feel for one human until you have children. And of course, I want Christian to have everything. My goal for him is to have so much savings built up for him as he gets older, which first of all, I'm not gonna hand to him. He is gonna have to work for everything that he has, which is exactly what my parents taught me. I had like four jobs throughout high school and then I worked two full-time jobs and went to college and had 24 credits, which I don't think a lot of you know. I've mentioned it like here and there, but not as like a pat on the back or anything, but I've just always had to work. Um, my dad as well, he's a lawyer, which you guys know, I think a lot of you think he gives me money or something. Not true, my dad worked his ass off to pass the bar exam. He had to take it like four times, um, you know, to just like retain all the info and he worked his butt off to pass that and to make the revenue he's made in his lifetime. And then he has just been an incredible inspirational figure to me supporting our family. 
Um, luckily, you know, he did make money with us growing up, which was cool. We could go on vacations and all of that, but he would never just hand us money. I would see him every day, wake up at 6 a.m. and get to court and serve his clients and work really, really hard. And that's what he taught us. My brother also had, and my sister, tons of jobs, like throughout high school, college, we were always taught to like work very hard. Um, which again, I want to teach Christian, but my ultimate goal, yeah, is to definitely provide everything that Christian needs, teach him his morals and his values and to just be a good human and to be a good man, to treat women right, to respect his authorities, be a hard worker. Um, and yeah, just knowing that I can financially and mentally and everything support him is my number one goal. Um, and now I have Sadie, so I got to take care of two of them. Now I have a house to take care of, you know? A lot of responsibilities, but of course, Christian definitely comes before anything. Pitta underscore AG said, I assume you're always extremely confident and you don't allow online negativity to get to you. Hmm. I think I've gotten a lot better as time goes on, as I've realized that I want to do YouTube for a long period of time. You know, comments at the beginning definitely used to get to me, and some of them really still do. Um, when someone takes a jab at my parenting or the way that I love or parent Christian, those definitely still get to me. If it's like a pity, I'm sorry, like a petty comment of like, you're ugly, you're fat, I don't like your lashes, I just let all that go. Life is so short, you guys. We don't have time to sit here and wallow in other people's misery. Those people are sitting at home spending their day on my videos. They don't like me, yet they come to my channel. They watch my videos. They leave a comment. Like, they're spending all this precious time out of their day, which is also very short. Um, you know, focusing on someone they don't like. I'm not going to sit there and, like, worry about it. Any comment that's about my appearance or anything, I usually just let it roll off. If it's extremely nasty, I'll block you because my channel is not a place for that. I just, I don't have the time. I don't want that type of community. You're gone. Bye, boo. If it's something constructive, of course I'll take it in. I reply to constructive criticism comments all the time because I love your guys' feedback. Um, but certain things, of course, do get to me. If it's something, a jab at who I am as a mom or as a person, you know, I have to be secure and know who I am. But at the same time, those comments, of course, they still hurt. It's not like, oh, you're an online persona and then you are just like unaffected or unfazed by comments no i like i'm still human and i'm a real emotional person so sometimes i'll be like all up in my feels you know and things will definitely affect me but at the end of the day i have to know that i truly believe i'm a hard worker i know i'm not the best mom but i am trying to be the best mom i can be and just knowing that like i give back and i'm an honest human and just like try to be the best version of myself possible um and i just have to go to bed at night knowing who i am and that i'm doing my best all right, we're just gonna go there. I didn't know if we should, but literally every question is about this. All of you are assuming that I am still with Chris, which I don't know why you would assume that because I talked in my uh, one of my like recent videos about you know how we had let, let that relationship go. I'm just gonna say this. He is a good human and he has a really, really good heart. I do regret putting up the videos whenever we got in fights and we broke up. I was trying to be like real transparent, but I ended up oversharing too much of that relationship, which I definitely think made you guys see him a certain type of way. When I was like all up in my feels and we were broken up or we had a fight, I would come on and tell you guys about it right away just to like keep you updated because it seemed like those were the videos, honestly, that got the most engagement with you guys. Like you wanted the drama. That's what people wanted. So I just kind of put it all out there. Um, and you know, at that time in our relationship a few months ago, we were both, we ended up getting in some fights as I shared with you guys. And we were both like really heated, both said things we didn't mean. I wasn't the best girlfriend or the best version of myself that I know that I want to be. So I admit I have like ton of flaws in that as well. And then we kind of took some time apart, not talking. Uh, and then both recently have matured up and have been okay with talking. Um, not too, too much. Um, I'll be very honest with you guys. He came down here and helped me a few weeks ago move some stuff with his truck, which I'm very grateful for. I have to say thank you to him because I didn't have any other like physical help. I had the movers, but there was some stuff um, after the moving company moved everything in where I needed a truck and needed some help. And he just told me, hey, I've always cared about you. You know how much I care about Christian. I don't mind helping you. So I took his help. Everything has been like totally fine, cordial. Um, but I've never, ever, ever said once in a video that we're back together. So I don't know why you guys all think that. So I'm seeing a lot of um, like assumptions as well that you guys think I did something to my face. No plastic surgery ever on my face. I did have lip fillers, what, like two years ago? Um, I was like t probably 15 pounds heavier at that point. So once I got my fillers in, I felt like it made my face even chubbier and I just didn't like the way it looked on me. I think once I slimmed down even more, I would like to get them again because my natural lips are super thin and I, I would totally like to have more plump lips. Like I can admit that, it's not a bad thing. These are my natural lips though. My fillers like 
uh, dissolved like over a year ago. I've never had a nose job, never had like under eye filler. I do need to get some right here because I have really bad wrinkles up here. It's just genetic, like my mom has them too. So I do want to do that in the future. I keep procrastinating. I really want to do that though. Um, and then I do have veneers, as you guys know. A lot of you on Instagram think I whiten my teeth in my pictures. I don't, I don't have to because I have veneers on the top. I didn't get them on the bottom just because they're so pricey. I did pay for them. It wasn't a sponsorship. Um, I talked about it though a while back. I made a full video on my veneers, how much they were, the full process, before and after pics. I'm actually gonna link that video down below. Check it out because I put all of the information. It, for me, it was one of the best investments just because I had a tooth pulled back here that I had to actually get an implant. Um, it would have been like t over two grand to get an implant on that tooth. So instead of that, my front right tooth right here was cracked at the bottom as well. So I was gonna fix that tooth anyways. So I decided to just go ahead and get eight veneers on the top just because I'm on camera literally every day for work. I don't think it's something the average person needs to do. I know it's very pricey. It's not a necessity. Let me just throw that out there. It's just something for me I want it to do. Um, and they did actually let me pay off everything over a six month time frame. I know a lot of doctors have like dental programs or you can like go on a credit plan or whatever. They were super chill. Um, they let me pay it off, which was really cool. I can list Southland Dental down below if you guys want to check out where I got mine done. I know a ton of YouTubers have them and there's like multiple places, but my doctor, Dr. Abian, was amazing. I found him through another YouTuber, my friend Annie, who had her teeth done and hers looked incredible. And I think that's the best way to get sales is to show testimonials. I saw her teeth and I'm like, bitch, like where'd you get those done? Like they look so good. Um, but I put up a whole video about my veneers. I'm really upfront about it. Um, and it's not that I didn't like my teeth before. I've actually, before I got them, I had already been doing YouTube for like three years. So I was super confident on camera with my like old teeth. They didn't like bug me. Um, but these obviously do look better and more white, whiter. Um, and yeah, I love them. Great investment for me. I don't regret them whatsoever. Um, so yeah, the rest of the questions, like they're all pretty much repetitive. So let me cut this off. I know this has already been a really long video. I just want to thank you guys for tuning in. Do not forget to enter my holiday giveaway. I'm giving away the five Visa cards. I would love to give those to you guys. Just thank you for your support. You're amazing. Thank you for being here with me all year. We are also so close to 500K, which I just can't believe. I mean, I can believe it because I'm not going to lie. I've envisioned this moment for a while and I knew if I worked hard, I would get here. Just to see that moment and this milestone be like so close now and within reach is super cool and very exciting for me. So thank you guys for just being here, supporting all the jazz. Be sure you are following my Instagram for an extra entry into the giveaway. You're just gonna comment on today's post and you're gonna have to tag a few friends. I'll have everything listed down below in the description box of this video. So check it out, make sure you're subscribed so you can follow along all my Vlogmas stuff for December. Love you guys and I'm gonna see you in tomorrow's video.